Hello there, puzzle friends again. We're here today with another video about jigsaw puzzles. Today we have a uh, small puzzle haul. I do have here two boxes posted to me by the way. Uh, you see one of them here on the screen because both of them are too big to fit in the screen. And as always, I open them with you. Uh, the reason there are two is because I do save some uh, expenses from the post this way. So the first one is open and let's see what's inside. Oh, I see we start with something interesting. So this one. Uh, this one is a Cloudberries puzzle. They are very uh, beloved, should I say. People uh, seem really to like them. The people who make content about jigsaw puzzles, the Cloudberries brand. Uh, and this is the, it's called Aquatic with some fishes. I had this, my eye on this. I believe this was the first one from Cloudberries that I wanted to buy. And now I decided I will finally get it. Uh, not much more to say. I'm really into these colorful fishes. I do believe this will be very funny to make. And I expected this to be on the easy side. So, uh, this one, I did buy this one actually. Uh, this one is uh, a viaduct, the Glenfeed viaduct, Glenfinan viaduct. You may recognize it from the Harry Potter movies. It's a viaduct that actually exists in Scotland. Well, uh, um, probably it was used because it may have been a kind of inspiration for J.K. Rowling or they may said, well, J.K. Rowling wrote this uh, in Edinburgh. I feel like maybe we can put these uh, scenes from Harry Potter on the Scotland's Highlands, so to say. So I really like this one. I have to visit this viaduct someday. I hope we will do that soon. Ah, uh, this one, I really, I saw this one on another Jigsaw Puzzle channel. Uh, and I said, well, I have to buy this. Scooby-Doo was one of the uh, anime series that I, or the cartoon series that I really like to watch as a child and I still like to watch most the original ones and these are more from the original um, art of painting uh, so I said I have to buy this and this actually is 2021 also it's a quite a new one on the series and we have more of this to come this one also from an anime series, I do believe both of them are uh, products from Hanna-Barbera. Uh, what I find sad, let's say, about these jigsaw puzzles, they, they, they do exist, Tom and Jerry puzzles, or maybe Scooby-Doo or two, but they are more on the children's side. They are very small, dedicated to children and stuff like this, and there are not so many when it comes for uh, grown-ups, for adult puzzles. You may find some Disney ones, most of the time is Mickey or something like this, but these ones, it's they are not so easy to find, sadly. I don't know if the Jigsaw Puzzle community is not up to them, I don't know if they think that the Jigsaw Puzzle community is not up to them. Either way, now they have this out, uh, and I have it. I had to buy it. It's not the best picture from Tom and Jerry I have ever seen, but there is one out there, 1000 pieces, a Ravensburger, so we have to buy it. And we did. This one I found uh, quite interesting. It's this, this way, and sorry. I find quite interesting the artwork um, from this peacock bird. With his tail, I did like the, that's like a fan, so to say, that makes wind or something like this. So I found it interesting. Deco puzzles, Deco games. 
Uh, Deco games are uh, somewhat related with D toys. And uh, D toys I have made, a uh, Deco, I, I'm not sure I have a club, uh, I believe I haven't made yet. And this one is also from Hanna Barbera, from comic series. This is uh, the Flintstones. The actual picture is this one in the middle. Uh, but I really, really like that they also changed the box. And the box looks like the TV from the Flintstones. And this one, or the thousand pieces, are also like the clothes of Fred Flintstone. And we see all the characters here, the Fred Flintstone, Barney Gamble, um, the Wilma, the wife of Flintstone. Here is the uh, vacuum cleaner. I don't see on the first clan, but here is also uh, his little girl. I, I don't remember the name now. Bam Bam, ah, here is, yeah, here is Betty. And this is all from the opening scene. So this would be this would be very fun to make, I believe. What do you think? Would you buy such puzzles, or do you like puzzles that are cartoon themed, but then for big children, so to say? So and let's say without much of a delay, what's in the second box? These are all from the same shop. But as I said, they do send this cheaper if you buy them this way. We have another Educa puzzle. Ah, this one, yes. Uh, this one is the Osaka castle and the Sakura. Uh, this is a Sakura tree and some gardens and the Fuji. Uh, the mountain Fuji, Fuji-san, Fuji-yama. Uh, this actually is a picture that's not really this way. So you will not see it um, when you go there, you will not see it this way. It's a collage that someone made. Uh, the Osaka castle, I've been already been there. And as a user, I bought f not less than 14 jigsaw puzzles. Which actually I also already have on the channel as uh, a whole. Um, yes, uh, but I've been there. They do have a gardens there, where the trees are. Um, but I'm not sure if you can see them see them from this aspect. But the Mount Fuji is somewhere else, so you will not see it uh, on that distance. At least, at least not to my knowledge. So I do believe this is somewhat of man-made picture. But, then again, since I was there, I have been there, I really like to have uh, also jigsaw puzzles from the places I have already been, or the places I want to go, such as was the Glen Finian uh, Theatre. And let's see what we have now. Uh, this one is a trefle one. Uh, the trefle are most of the time quoted on the cheaper side. But when it comes to quality, I don't think they lack much. So, but I have uh, I have some time to make the, one of them. Uh, this is a city in uh, Croatia, if I'm not mistaken. Rovinj, Rovinj. Um, I probably said the name wrong. Uh, I really like the colors. It's like a pastel picture, so to say. So I do believe it will be also fun to make. This one, we have a lot of sky, which will be not that easy to tackle, but then again, the picture was very good. And I enjoy also sometimes a landscape picture. Then let's go further. This one is uh, from Eurographics. A brand based in the North Americas. I do believe they are uh, uh, designed in Canada and printed in the USA or made in the USA, something like this. Um, and this is the illustrated periodic table of the elements. Well, this will be probably dedicated to my father, who is 
who was he he's now retired who was a, a teacher of of chemistry in school so i will probably they dedicate this to him uh so then again i also found it interesting that this one is illustrated so you can see where you can find these all um, elements in which every day or most of the time every day things here they are probably radioactive so because of that they don't have a picture in them 500 pieces so i do believe this will be on the quickie side and let's go further this one for example is uh, as i said uh, cartoon based jigsaw puzzle 2000 pieces 2200 pieces this one i did buy it because i do believe it's something that i will never find it on a big scale uh, so I said, yes, uh, this one is uh, one of the best animated series that you can find. Very, uh, very funny, very educational. And, and it's something that we also grew up with. And, yeah, the Maestro. I don't know the names of them all. But uh, since I also did not see it on the English language as skinned. This one is... Uh, 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 in French, I do believe it was uh, the original was in French, but this is a, 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 a production that has had many countries uh, taking part in making of this series. This one and the series, uh, the explorers and discoverers, or there was uh, once upon a time there was the man or something like this. I don't remember the names. I do believe there are two or three series all of them were very good and very funny uh, this one i like this one i did so today on instagram with someone that had uh, not this puzzle the other one that's uh, about england this one is from scotland i did want to do a scotland trip this year uh, sadly I, I didn't make it Maybe I will later, I'm not sure. Here is also the Glenfinian product, uh, viaduct, and some other uh, probably famous places. In Glasgow, I was already in the Glasgow Cathedral, Cathedral and the Necropolis that's next to it. And in Edinburgh Castle, was all, I was already too. This time, I wanted to go to the Highlands. And the, the Island of Sky, well, if we had the time, we would not have go there. Ah, and this one is where it started all as of this uh, order, should I say. I did find this one on uh, Amazon. It was from a brand that was called My Heye or something like this. So it, they stated that you order the puzzle and then we print it out and then we put it out for you. So it's not only for you. This one actually existed as a picture on the on the regular series. I did I really like this fantasy woman themed uh, puzzle, uh, and I did say, well, uh, I was about to buy it, and then for some reason they made the price a little. Expen it's a little more expensive and then I was hesitating uh, and then I found this as an Educa jigsaw puzzle and uh, it was much cheaper I do believe it was half the price or maybe even less I was also very happy with Educa quality from the puzzles that I already have so I said it doesn't have to be my hair yet. I buy this as an Educa puzzle and now I have it and I'm very happy about it uh, that were for the puzzles for this uh, jigsaw puzzle haul. Uh, I think we we went somewhat uh, uh, quick, quickly. Let's say. Still, I uh, hope you enjoyed this haul.
Are there any puzzles that you also have that you would like to puzzles that are on your wish list or are you inspired from any of the, one of them? As always, there are in the description there are always time stubs for every specific puzzle, so you can see and watch them again in all the title and the pieces if you are willing to search for them. Uh, that was it for me for today. Feel free to write me in the comments what do you think. Uh, stay safe, happy puzzling and until next time, goodbye.